Hi, my lovelies. Upon request, today I would like to go through how to sing Let It Be by the Beatles. It's been a hot minute since I've done a how to sing that song video. If you want to check out all my other ones, I have dozens of how to sing for specific songs that walk you through different options of how to sing those songs to still reflect the character of the song. But I often have like a modified version of some of the hard spots in the song. So, but today let it be. So this is a song that has been used for, oh my goodness, covered so much. And what I want to propose today is to do it a little bit differently, not especially when you're doing it unplugged. I just want to kind of give you some ideas to not just sing the right pitches, but to be more of a musician and an artist and to make your own thing out of it. So maybe I could just inspire you about what I do. I'm doing it in the original key of C major. And this is what I propose right here. Start the first verse very exposed. The voice is very much in the foreground and the piano, I'm just kind of rolling some chords every here and there. And I sing very softly because it's very low in my voice. If it sits in a different place in your voice, you can adjust. But I just want to, if it's in a low place in your voice, then it's beautiful to make low, soft tones. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. You could do some ad-libs. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Try to really f just create beautiful voice colors, very emotional. I did a little bit of vocal fry and just a little bit of breathiness, which is totally okay here because we're not doing high impact, high intensity yet, which means I'm not trying to create high volume, which then it hurts the vocal cords if you do too much breathiness. And in my hour of darkness, I'm telling the story. She is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Let it be. Whisper words of wisdom. Let it be. So what I'm trying to do is a build because we have three more verses to go and I'm trying to be very exposed in the first verse so that I, it gives me more space to build, right? Now comes the, so let it be. And when the broken hearted people living in the world agree, there will be an answer. And the answer is, let it be. You have to make that let it be because it repeats so many times. You have to let it mean something different each time. And it's almost like hyphen, let it be. And then whatever you saying, the words that you had right before, it's like let it be is always the logic quintessence that, you know, the moral of the story is let it be. So you want to make it a little bit different, give it a different shade, a different intention. And um, you express that by giving your breath a sound, having different voice colors, playing around with breathiness and more condensed tone, more compression, more clean, having a little bit of vocal fry here and having a very clean tone there, playing with dynamics, crescendo, decrescendo, and uh, making nice phrasing to really express the vocal line here. So let me just have some more fun with with this here. And in the my hour of darkness. So did you notice I had more vocal cord closure here in the second verse? It's quite low for me, like a low G to have at a fuller volume is quite difficult. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be, let it be, yes, let it be, let it be, let it be, there will be an answer, 
I guess there will be an answer was the one actually. Was I the first or second? Well, anyway, <laughs> let it be. And then you could do an instrumental. Oh, 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 yeah. And then I like to do like the instrumental, full instrumental. And when the night is cloudy, there is still a light that shines in me, which is a positive thing. Every word, you want to give it a shade, you want to give it a color, you want to give it a feeling, an emotion, a context. And a facial expression, as a matter of fact, because, I don't know, you can hear whether there's a smile, not literally a wide smile, but you can hear in your voice whether there's a smile or a frown. You can totally hear it. Because when you frown, you just cover more. And when there's a smile, it becomes a little brighter. You can totally hear it. And then I like to climax for a wake up to the sound of music. Mother Mary comes to me speaking words of wisdom. Let it be, oh, let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. There will be an answer, let it be, oh, let it be, let it be. And now you could do whatever you want. You could just ad lib, you could just all do whatever you're awesome at. Let it be, let it be. There will be an answer, let it be, or belt, let it be, let it be, let it be, there will be an answer, let it be, 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 there will be an answer. Let it be, there will be an answer, let it be. I mean, whatever you want to do at the end. What's important is that you let your voice shine and that your strengths really come out here. I hope I gave you just a little bit of inspiration on different ways you can do it to make it your own. If you're interested in working with me personally over the course of four months, my four-month masterclass for singers is still open for registration. You can get all the details below. I would love to see you on the inside. Until next time, always keep on singing and always keep a song in your heart. Bye.